Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. Today I'm going to show, share with you how I mix my paints. So this consistency is going to be for flick, flip cup and if I make it a little bit thicker, not adding water to it, it can also be for a ring pose. But it's not for Dutch pose as Dutch pose is very very thin consistency. And for the way I mix my paints, for a flip cup, I'm going to be using Liquitex pouring medium and a tiny bit of water for the flip cup. So let's begin. First I'm going to have, and the paints that I'm going to be using to show you is Thalo Blue, Brilliant Blue, both of them are from Amsterdam and I'm also going to be adding uh, Iridescent Silver from Pebio Studio Acrylics that metal for the metallic just for a little bit of metallic shine in both of these colors so I I don't use any specific brands I use different variety of Amsterdam Pebio and any other Arteza or different brands as well so there is no one specific type that I use so let's start to begin with I'm going to use start with my Thalo blue so if I have about 10 grams sorry 10 milliliters I'm going to be use about 10 milliliters if this is this is showing 10 milliliters so it's fine so if I have about 14 I'm going to add a little bit more to it so 14 milliliters of paint and make sure my scale is to zero one more time again because I'm going to start adding my uh, pouring medium now. So the pouring medium is going to be two parts. So one part paint, two parts pouring medium. So that was, the paint was 14 milliliters. So I'm going to add about 28 to 30 of my uh, pouring medium. This is 24, double about 28. I need to make it two. Yeah, so this is about 28 milliliter of pouring medium and I'm going to mix, mix, mix. And you can see this is a very, very thick now consistency. This is not ready for a ring pour and not ready for a, a flip cup. So some people might add three parts of pouring medium or they can use float roll as well, but for, for the flip cups, mostly I'm using my pouring medium. They can use three parts, but I use two parts only. And when I think, it's like a blob, it's very, very thick consistency at the moment. So the water is, I don't measure the water, I'm just going to mix a tiny bit, starting with just a few drops, just a tiny bit of water not a lot in one go because it might become very very runny and then it's very difficult to get the paint to the right consistency it gets very runny so slowly slowly i'm going to start adding the water bit by bit starts to look a little bit better for my flip cup okay as you can see i'm adding adding very very tiny bit of water i'm keep on adding and i keep on mixing it make sure you scrape all the sides from the bottom and it's going to start to look like a nice smooth consistency as you can see this with a mound it leaves a slight mound on the top but i think it's still thick for my flip cup and even thicker thick for my ring pour as well a tiny bit of more I hope you can see yeah it is runny but not right not quite right mix 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 carry on mixing you have to be really patient in this there's no rush there are no quick fixes or no shortcuts just have to be patient so when I um, drizzle the paint the paint goes really really nicely and it's making a mound 
I think I need a little bit more um, runnier so just a slightly bit more water and that should be it should be ready okay and also when I think my paint is ready I always do the drip test for all all my paints for flip cups ring pours even for the Dutch pours I'm using this drip test just to make sure all the paints are same consist consistency because if something is thicker and is going really down slowly I can add a tiny bit of or a few drops of water to it to make sure this one is at these levels okay so this one is ready to go I'm happy with this slight mound and not too thin not too thick so that's done so the next paint I'm going to be using is this beautiful brilliant blue again scale down to zero and try to have 10 10 milliliters of this paint 12 let's make it to 16 that's 16 now so for this one I'm going to be adding my metallic silver because I need a bit of uh, shine in this paint for my pour just a tiny bit and this comes up to approximately about I would say 17 about 18 because there's some on the stick as well about 18 milliliters just mix it a little bit before I add my pouring medium and make the scale down to zero again so my pair pouring medium should be about double of that so let's make it to zero again so quite a lot I need to go to 36 that should be it yeah 30, 35 36 and so that should be enough so one part paint two part pouring medium again give it a nice mix before you start adding the water as you can see it's quite thick now it's like a blob of paint and I went to, so this paint will have a beautiful shimmer and the shine from the metallic silver so it doesn't matter if the scale is zero or not because I want to start adding the water and that is going to be my desired consistency how much I think the paint should be for uh, a flip cup or ring pour so obviously you don't want something like this to thick and blobby you want something which is running smoothly on your stick and at the same time it is not too thin it just makes a slight mound and you are happy with the consistency because if the consistency is too, too uh, thin for a ring pour the rings are not going to hold properly or too thick for a flip cup they are just going to be very very runny so we want thicker consistencies, obviously thicker than the Dutch pour. It's still got quite thick block of paint. So I'm carrying on mixing. As you can see, I'm just adding a little at a time of water just to make sure it's the right amount. So it's getting a bit smoother now. Sometimes we try to get a consistency of like honey how warm honey is it is thicker and it's not too too runny at the same time okay nearly there tiny bit more and that should be it should be ready scrape the sides Make sure you mix it properly from the bottom, scraping the bottoms, at the bottom of the cup, scraping the sides, 
nearly there a few more drops I think it's going to need okay <coughs> just having a little bit of sore throat at the moment so bear with me I hope you understand the consistencies really well I hope you like my videos don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like this video give me a like please or, or give, hit the notification button so I think this is ready now so let's see both the paints on our um, drip test they should be same consistency looks as remove this and then now you can have any, anything for a drip test you can have a paper or a, or a canvas panel or um, anything a cardboard anything card so tiny blob of paint make sure I mix this properly and I think this the beautiful blue the brilliant blue is a little bit thick I think but let's see yes it is so as you can see for the brilliant blue I might need a few drops of water for it to reach this consistency <clears throat> but both of them are good not much difference but I might add just about one or two one more and just adding a couple of drops makes a big difference to your paint so this should be fine now once again I'm going to make sure it runs nicely it runs let's have a little tiny bit more here now let's see so not that bad not that bad one more drop I'm going to add a couple of more drops and that is it so this is my paint consistency for my ring pour and also for the flip cup obviously sometimes for the ring pour it it is nice to have or some people have a little bit thicker consistency so that's fine as well but this one is perfect for both the different techniques and if I want a Dutch pour I will mix in more water so the paint is moving very very nicely and very quickly down the stick and it doesn't leave a mound at all so paint is running right into the cup at the moment you can see some some of the paint is springing back you can see that so this is perfect for my uh, techniques which I'm going to be using but for the Dutch pour more water more thinner consistency and you are good to go so i hope you enjoy watching this video thank you so much for being here take care now and i'll see you soon in my next video bye now